What's up, everybody? So I decided to do a video while well, they're doing a video, and they told me to come over for this video. And we've got a Jack Creval, and we're gonna see what this bad boy tastes like. And yes, they bled the Jack, and there's a random dog barking ass over there. So we're gonna take it over here, and we're gonna cook it. Brant and Ron went out there and caught it today, and. Uh, <laughs> We tried this before, but it was with a smaller jack. So we're gonna see what a bigger jack tastes like. And uh, this is gonna be very interesting. Got a feeling we're gonna be in for a surprise. You gonna have filet? Yeah. So this bad boy's been fully bled out. It's been sitting in the cooler for a while. And uh, Brant's gonna clean him right now. He's gonna flame him up, I think. I think that's what we're doing. Brant is like the samurai that just whips that bad boy around. You're bleeding this guy. Yeah, me too. And I am actually anxious to uh, to to uh, taste test it. This will be pretty fast. And I can go ahead and tell you the meat looks like hardtail meat. Hardtails aren't bad though. It looks like uh, hardtail meat, kind of uh, semi similar to uh, certain types of tuna. Did you just compare a Jack Revolta No, it's to... not going to taste like, like <laughs> Come on now, Brand. No, but the meat has a little reddish tint, pinkish tint to it like that. But we bled it good. It, I've cleaned Jack before, and this one is not nearly... We got that bloodline out of there good. The key to bleeding a fish, folks, and so when I used to run charters, I used to... Get the fish right here. When I used to run charters... I used to uh, bleed fish all the time for my clients because obviously you want them to have the best tasting fish possible. And if you do it when they're still alive, when that heart is still beating, you'll bleed them out real nice like this. And that will definitely improve the taste on a fish like a Jack Kerbal. Now, how good is it going to be? I'm not sure. <laughs> but... We're, we still got a little bloodline there, and we're going to cut that out. And I'm going to go ahead and say right now, this looks very, very similar to the blue fish. It yeah. Actually, it actually has a t completely different texture. That okay. blue fish is, uh, we're going to cook jack strips. That blue fish is uh, very, uh, we're going to make them thin. All right, we're going to fry jack strips. Uh, blue fish is mushy. This okay. sitting is mushy. All right, that's good. No wonder he bled out so good. Look at that number you put on him, man. All right, so he cleaned them, he filleted uh, them, and he made them into little jack strips. And now he's going to throw them on down. the grill. And we're going to see how this works out. Is it better? Yeah, we're going to make ladyfish. We didn't even know about Everglades until we moved to Florida. Yeah? We don't have Everglades in Kentucky. Yeah, there's no Everglades in Kentucky. I mean, seasoning jack. <laughs> Fully aware there's no Everglades. So we're going to salt and pepper. Whoop, white salt coming out here. What's going on with it here? Our jack, it's looking, looking decent. It doesn't look terrible. Brant's uh, especially for everything is salt and pepper. Well, I mean, Jack, everything starts with salt and pepper. <laughs> I mean, like, don't you put salt and pepper? It's on like everything? asphalt on a highway. <laughs> like you gotta put salt and pepper on everything. We can also throw a little paprika. Paprika. Where's the paprika? Paprika. paprika. A little cayenne. Say that three times fast. I did have multiple people from like my personal life mm -hmm. message me, and that's a legit did question. You did you hey, you look at this, look, <laughs> you look at that piece right there, just right. That looks like bacon. That does call hey, it bacon. Hey, you've got your mind on. Call it Bayou Bacon, right? Breading and bacon. Fry <laughs> I'm ready, man. Bayou Bacon. At least I'm not adverse to trying it tonight. No, it's gonna be good. So we're gonna get it so crispy that that it's like you're eating a pork rind. So did oh, you see now you're talking my language, Brand. <laughs> so did you get sick on that last one? I did end up having an allergic reaction to the to the sand fleas. So if anybody out there is wondering, yes, sand fleas are shellfish. I did have an allergic uh, reaction. Uh, <laughs> we were gonna uh, do a C crispy on the outside. I like it. We'll almost like almost like, like Jack Jerky. Jack, Jack jerky. jerky. Bayou Jerky, that's Bayou what I'm talking jerky, about. The up. jerky of the sea. We so created a new thing right here, folks. So, so how'd you, how'd you, that. that's just salt and pepper and stuff? No, that's a bunch of different seasonings. 
uh, Everglades salt, pepper, paprika, cayenne, uh, covered in, in oil, nice. and cooked to where it's crispy on the outside. These are little jack crisps. And we're gonna, uh, Camera man, Ron. Yeah, I'm not even mad about this one, guys. I'm really not. Yeah, like, that's a pork chop. Ron, do like the. Little... What, are, what are you doing? Pick up a whole one and eat it? No, nah, you don't. Know Get the crispy one. This one's fine. Okay, fine. That is not good. <laughs> <laughs> Not as good as the other fish. Yeah, it smells oh, well, very. Jack is not supposed to be a good fish. I don't. Well, no, I mean, I, yeah, and it's not. <laughs> no, go ahead and take a big bite, Brant, like you told me. <laughs> yeah, there, buddy. It's bottoms up. He's got to think about it. It's not good. He's got to think about it's not... it. I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, I, it, got, okay. I was. So let me tell you, it does have a strong, uh, a uh, uh, gamier taste. One hundred percent. But and it's not even a fishy like it's a gamey or yeah. taste and the texture is a mix between like a chicken and a fish don't ever call that chicken. a chicken and a fish was no. it chicken of the sea ever, ever <laughs> call it chicken, ever, ever. <laughs> all right you got chop piece. okay all right all right all right all right i'm gonna get one that hasn't been spoiled by something else get that one right there that's a good one just take a just, just oh. down the hat Oh, yeah, hot it, too. <laughs> it's of course it's hot. He just took it out of grease, dude. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> what was that? Out of steam. Oh, that tastes like a cheap fish. That's kind of what I'm feeling. Like if I went to Captain D's and yeah. I got the non, uh, the non-fried fish and it had been frozen for like maybe six months that's what i would taste like. you got to go a long way right there to talk about how bad this fish tastes i mean if we're being honest I mean, it's not great it's not bad it's edible all right i'll i'll be there there you go sarah likes everything though yeah yeah i mean you ate six sand fleas after they left yeah and she ate the sushi or the sashimi sarah's a very adventurous eater it does taste a little gamey. It tastes old. Mm -hmm. Old. That's the I don't mind it. You know what? It's I not bad. Now it's here's what I like great. about it. Okay, I am a, a big fan of the the chicken type texture, gay alligator. Type you keep texture. calling it chicken, no, no. and it's not. It does have it's more of that like chicken, like pork chop okay. vibe going it on. It has an alligator type texture. Well, I've never eaten. I've never eaten alligator, so that I, can't I actually with that. don't. I I kind of like it. It's you it's like in a in a oh weird way. Gosh. I don't think I've seen Brant not like a fish yet. That's not true. When we had the blue fish, I didn't like the blue. He did not like, like it. Fish? He straight up like took a step back and he was like, "That's definitely not my favorite fish." Oh man, he's not eating any seasoning. That's straight fish right there. She didn't get any seasoning in that. That's a true opinion. It tastes like chicken. Yeah, that's what I I thought. I'm not like I don't think it's that. that, that taste like like I, I thought like she was a my girl. Like chicken strip. I actually feel the same way. That's what I'm getting, chicken strips. Yeah. Well, I'm going to tell you all right now. The fat guy I says it does fish. not taste like chicken. So <laughs> <laughs> the Kentucky Inn, that's, that's where. It, it, taste like, it does taste right? like old fish. You yeah, know? it tastes like old fish. Yeah. I can say old fish. Is that maybe an old chicken strip? <laughs> there you go. See, now we're talking. I agree with that. Like, I mm. actually don't, I don't mind it. Yeah, yeah, like if you ate it the next well, day. I think what? that's the first thing. Wow. Wow. I think that's the first thing we've had that I dislike more than the sashimi. Does that's that that's the truth. That no, I still do not. That doesn't mean I like the sashimi, but I think that's the first thing we've eaten that I think was worse than the sashimi. Seriously. Well, what do you think about this pork tenderloin? I'm, I'm going to go ahead out on a limb and say you guys are going to like that. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, you know, we had to put that one to rest that... Can you eat a Jack Creval? Yes. Is it great? Eh. I mean, there are other fish out there that are better than that. It tastes like uh, the texture was a little, little tougher, like more like a chicken. Um, it, y if you season it right, it's totally edible. Um, and, you know, if I was a single guy, I'd totally eat it. Um, uh, you know, it's not they like that one right there. It wasn't a big Jack Creval. They might get a little more tangier as they get bigger. 
Um, but you know, if you season it right, it's, it's edible. It totally is. Is it the best? No, but they're easier to catch than like a redfish or something that's, you know, super edible. Um, but at some point a redfish was considered trash fish too. Some people say that's a trash fish here in Pensacola. Do I think it's a trash fish? Well, I'll let you decide. I know a lot of people in the world eat them. They're, you know, and they like them, you know, for a stew or for, any type of something where you add in seasoning, it'll be fine. But it's not the best, right, Brant? Yeah. I thought it was edible. So we had bluefish about a week or two ago, and yeah. the jack bow was better than the bluefish, hands down. Think so? 100%. Wow. I mean, I've tried bluefish a lot of different ways. I've done it with uh, butter on the grill. I've done it with all types of seasoning. Bluefish isn't crazy bad so like what i'm trying to say is it's edible it's not that bad and give it a whirl wait Except for that's wine it's <laughs> <laughs> that kentucky and hey, wine let me show y'all something jack's drinking riesling and i'm drinking a bush hey wine. i had one of those check my instagram story i had one of those Come earlier on, what is that? earlier i was the one that got them to go get the bush lights but I'll see you guys later. We're, we're cooking a Boston butt or a butt, and uh, we got to go eat. And I'll see you guys on the next vlog. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's a great cook. Ron, Chef Ron, what do we have here? We got everybody. This is a team effort. Uh, broccoli casserole, a, uh, grilled asparagus, and then pork tenderloin off the big green. Man, that looks awesome, dude. That looks